going on? It's the Wild Wild Willis. How are you doing? Uh, sound? Yeah. All right. Now, I've seen a lot of conversations going on online and thought that this is a, a, a rare teachable moment. Um, so first of all, let's get a few things out of the way. Um, the Gangeton Festival was not my event. Uh, if you look at the posters, if you want to find out who, who, who organized the show, you can see at the bottom of each poster, they're the official sponsors and organizers of the event. Uh, so it wasn't my event. Uh, I attended basically as an MC and as an artist. And in this case, I like to just refer to myself as upcoming artist because you know I'm new to the game. Um, so that off the way, event I Yangu, and I was an MC and an artist. Now, so when we got there, the, the way it was set up was during the day it was supposed to be just my hype to. I mean, it's a festival. You come, kule ni nini. That's how it was supposed to be. Uh, so during the day it was just hype so again the pictures that you're seeing uh, was I was hyping just the guys who were there at the time as the day progressed of course uh, more people started coming in and so it was supposed to be upcoming artists of Peo Patiao and then eventually at the end the the sort of the Gengeton elite now take over from there and so we were getting ready for this and so when we went down I, I, when I was I'm seeing with my homeboy Shutterboy and so as we were going through um went backstage and started talking to the artists and like all right guys so who's gonna come next and you need because already there was that it wasn't so well coordinated so who who's gonna come next so i talked to the artists uh and most of them if not all told me that hey we want to perform but we've not been paid you know the half of the of, of, of what's left and the rule is always for most artists that when I leap a half, to another Kupush event, by the time I'm stepping on the stage, Nafakwa Libe Maliziwa. And rightfully so. That's the way it's supposed to be. So I told them, I said, guys, don't. Musiata knew was before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can ask them. I told most of them that. I said, don't perform. If you've not been paid, don't get up on stage. I was on stage, partly could you. Yeah, you know, I was like, two or two. I didn't know the cracks of the matter because Adam didn't perform Adam didn't but it got to the point where now as we are talking to all these artists I started feeling really um actually really sad um because we've had quite a year in terms of uh, the Rona so to tell artists that you guys just perform and will organize this thing by another another time we'll get your money another time how many times have they been told that and wamerukwa so i told them i was very categorical i was with the manager of uh, ochunglo uh, sailors talk to kinabogi genje gouache uh, most of them i said guys if you guys step on this stage and perform and you've not been paid then we will never break this cycle of people being taken advantage of more so gangeton artists most they are they are responsible for putting kenyan music again on the map and respect to all other artists sour but when gangeton came through everybody started looking tanzania started looking nigeria started looking they're like eh things are getting intense in kenya how to what's this gangeton sound so they helped so much in the play ke movement they started recording with phones you know it was an opportunity for them to get out and make the most of their lives and that's what people forget that this is their lives in Ikaziao, the way you wake up and go to that eight to five this is what they do on the daily they're working they're working hard so when we started talking about the whole issue i told uh well, i started calling the organizer i'm like hey bro come through and let's talk this thing out with these guys because they're not going to get on stage. Some of them at some point even wanted to leave. So we got around, we gathered around and we started talking and the, the organizers like the money is available on the ticketing platform um, but we have to wait until probably Monday so that uh, we, get the, um, we get the money to you guys. And that's when I started seeing like certain realities, you know, from the managers and from the artists saying, hey, bro, we've had this thing so many times. 
Um, right now, it's that time, it was like around 8.14. The event is supposed to end at 9. We have about six, seven groups who are supposed to perform, give their best, and they haven't been paid. By the time I had to Malaysia conversation, it will be heading towards 9. Kuna curfew. These guys are coming from different different parts. They are saying, hey, it's cool. I'll go to Huruma. I'll go to Kayola. I'll go to all these places. At that time, you guys here, your organizers won't be there. When the cops are in Ishika, Jukafi, Mefika, Jowato, there's going to be traffic leaving Machakos People's Park. So basically, this is what I have to say. Um, and you've seen a lot of people saying that uh, they deserve to be paid, and they do. It is immoral for any organizer to have an event and not pay the artists before they get on stage it is a craft these guys they are, they are this is their livelihood it is a craft it is a creative space it is what they're doing it is what they're depending on to survive to put put food on the table for their families um it is what is for some even just their saving grace the thing that is keeping them sane the thing that is keeping them even to some extent alive so for you to mess up with somebody's livelihood, especially the, these artists, I mean, I'm talking about artists all over. And it's not, it's not, a, it's not a new thing. Artists will tell you that organizers were Ruka Sana. And that's why they came with this thing for Hata Heri Basnekange Ko Hotel Yangu until you pay me my full amount because Tukisha Malizana, Tutokupata Avi, Utazima Simu, Utazidi, Utaenda. So my message to organizers you don't take artists for granted my message to the artists is keep speaking up talk and what happened for me at that event when i saw now that there's a lot of push and pull and it looks like they're not going to give people their money and their worth i left i took myself my crew and we got in the car and we left I say got in the car and left because also remember people go to this event different even for the artist because it's showbiz they want to come they want to hire vehicles they want to come with their bogey easy with resorte that's money and they are banking on nikishalipwa takusot because again people it's been a covid year so we don't have the float and money that we that we want so for artists speak up let this be the beginning of the conversation where we are saying we are not going to be taken for granted anymore, no matter who you are, whether you are big time corporate or whether you are inaugural event. So speak up. It is immoral, I say again, not to pay artists their dues, not to pay anyone their dues because <laughs> everybody talks bad about but these of you that's why also it's a little bit hypocritical isn't it for you to say oh the the and even the arguments online you're saying guys saying at you oh we look on a charge a thousand bobs it was too high anyway it's okay but that's the thing how do you guys view these gangeton artists why do they look like less than why do you be, begin the conversations the less than ghetto who can even take get on as Ati uchek kama ukona mavitu zako o oh, utaibiwa o oh, nini nini nini. If you keep doing that, it is what I like to call rudimentary thinking, almost colonial. And I just want to say I continue to fully support Gangaton and Gangaton artists and artists in general. I am a firm believer that artists should be paid their due, whether you're in Gangaton or not, whether you're a tattoo artist, whether you're a makeup artist, whatever form of creative art you're doing, photographer, videographer, whatever it is your contribution is in the creative space, you should be paid your due. Because to kill a kina wale wasa kutoka nchi zingine, uwa onasikiatu, eh, unajole mse, hazi landa ta Kenya kabla, kabla maliziwe pesa yake. And for to that for them it's normal. But if you artists with wa Kenya, at sasa to nanyamaza. Sasa we can tell them ah to patane Monday, ah to patane Tuesday. No. It's time that we treat all artists equally, especially artists with wa Kenya. 
You must treat them with the respect that they deserve because they are working. Corona this season has been so tough. Personally, there, there are people who are giving up. Guys are in depression. And then you guys come here, you who are also in depression because you're now starting to tweet and attack people online because you're trying to release your stress on other people or impose your thoughts and views on other people. No, man. Let us be serious about it. And I hope that this starts the conversation that artists need to be respected, need to be paid, and demand, and they should demand it and not be quiet. So, Asewangu, Wagengaton, more life to you. And Asewangu, all artists, whether upcoming, whether established, whether whoever you are and you're an artist. There are so many songs that have been said, and I will want to quote King Kaka. Toeni hizu njugu kwa tebo misilipwangi in peanuts. Successful people look like you, and God loves you and that will never change.